All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. And, uh, you know, uh, people are asking, where are you? Uh, I receive many emails in Patreon. Uh, you know, my internet is bad. And I hope today I will not lose it, as what happened the day before and the day before and the day before. But I hope by the coming week, uh, I will be in better location, or let's say I will have better internet, and uh, things will be good. Uh, Today our topic is very simple. Uh, in front of you, you will see a picture of a black hole. This is what they call it, you know. I did not call it this way. Um, I'm not sure why they call it a black hole. Maybe because it's a black and there's a hole. However, it's weird. I mean, the Muslims, they keep talking about their God. And they claim that they knew their God. But I never heard of a Muslim. He can't tell us who is their God. Oh, what do you know that they have a God? His name is Allah. Okay, nice to meet you. But what Allah mean? They don't know. Where the name is coming from? They don't know. What is Allah is of? Like, is he spirit? Later we will go to those details and you will see the second you start asking questions about the cult of Islam, uh, details is a problem. As long as you are asking silly uh, you know, stupid questions, you are welcome. Like, uh, uh, all Muslims will, will volunteer if you ask a question, uh, is it okay to shave under arm? All Muslims became suddenly scholars. Or Muslims, they want to teach you Arabic. You don't know Arabic. I mean, you do not know Arabic, even if you are an Arab. Hello? So, the second, is, the second you question Islam, they start avoiding the whole topic, speaking about you. You are the problem. Is not Islam but the fact is nobody knows what Muhammad is talking about and Muhammad himself do not know what he's talking about as an example if we want to learn about Allah we will go where what is the name of the book which we can read so we can learn about Allah do we have any Muslim can tell us or oh, what the Muslim they say to you nothing like Allah okay well this is a verse from the Bible too and by the way, uh, nothing like me and nothing like you. So, actually, every every car in the world is different from the other car. That's why they have serial number. Does that mean they are God? So, nothing like Allah. Okay, well, but who is Allah? Nothing like Allah. Well, Allah in the Quran said nothing like him. Okay, we get that. And nothing like me too. And nothing like you too. Who is Allah? They don't know. So, Islam can be a religion as long you are talking about silly stuff how many times we pray uh, how we fast uh, rituals like kissing is black stone mm, you know and the stone is shaped in a private part of a woman uh, going around the Kaaba but nobody will tell us why and what what the numbers present and who is the one did Allah says go seven time or six time or five time and what those mean what, what, what they mean so they don't know really what they are talking about everybody have his own idea everybody will come with his own answer like if i search right now who is allah i will find tons of articles everyone is giving me a different story uh, just go to prophet google peace upon him who is allah who is allah uh, dr jamal badawi which is a you know a very funny guy who have no idea what he's talking about. I mean, this guy is trying to, it's like a like like a car dealer who want to sell me his car. Facts about Allah. If you click at the link, you will die laughing from facts about that. Imagine, they say, did you see the word facts? Did you see the word facts? I mean, do you know even what the word facts mean? What facts? When you say the word fact, that's mean you know very well. And those are facts. But what is the facts we are talking about? If you click at the link, you will see how hilarious the facts they are talking about. Okay, I will click at the link. Which one, guys, you want me to click? And uh, the first one, second one, third one, choose anyone. Because other than them, all of them, they are they are a joke. They are a joke. There's no, they don't know. You know? <clears throat> a guy here with the beard, I wish I can click at the video and we can play it so we can die laughing. But they don't know. They are giving us a general statement, you know. Uh, Allah is the creator. Okay, well, isn't it all religion? They say their God is the creator, but who is Allah? 
it. But isn't it the Quran say he is the best of the creators, which means there is many creators? So who is Allah? But we don't know. They don't know. They are giving us their own assumption. Who is Allah? Read with me carefully. <clears throat> Allah, the one God. Allah mean the one God. Allah mean the one God. <laughs> So that's mean your God does not have a name. It's just a word mean one. <laughs> what a comedy. So this is how Islam is. It's based on hilarious answers. Everybody make up stories. If you, if you ask this guy, okay, where do you get this from? Where it says Allah, I mean the one God. Where it says that? Where in the Quran it says that the word Allah mean the one God? Nowhere. Where Muhammad you say that? Nowhere. So where you are coming with this from, you know? Where, what, what, what is the, where is the manufacturer of those answers? The manufacturer is very simple, the confusion. This guy is trying to present to you, he wanna sell you a, an old car, have the radiator, have a hole in it, have not only four tires, he wanna tell you this car is amazing. So what he would do? He would say, there's only one car like this. There's only one car like this. This is the unique for sure, because this is the only car in the world can go backward, cannot go forward. Hmm? So what does this mean? Wait, okay, when you make an article, shouldn't you give us reference? Where, where do you get this from? You know? Or you get like this guy who make videos, you know? Uh, uh, they give you their own self fabrication. Nobody, nobody is giving us one word have uh, can be supported by something. And you know, when, when the Muhammadan is saying Islamic monotheism, I like that. And you know, they think they are superior by saying we are monotheism. But you know, there is people who worship Satan and they are monotheism. Worshiping one God doesn't make you anything. I mean, so what? There is many religions worship one God. So, and one God or two God or three God, who care? What we care for, if it's true God or not. If, if, if a guy from India or whatever uh, country and he believed there's a million God, but they are exist, so then he's right and you are wrong. Your God is not. So, you know, they, 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 look, they are trying to convince us that we have something good. And what is that? Monotheism. Very silly, very silly, uh, uh, like, uh, let us say, explanation of Islam. If you are a person who is ignorant about Islam, you will find a million Muslims want to explain Islam to you. But uh, in my case, uh, no, they don't want to call me. They make videos to refute me. You know, I mean, I mean, I, you know, I never heard of a Muslim. By the way, don't get me busted. They got me busted. Well, okay, always, but they have no idea what Islam is still about. All, all of them, they are super intelligence. For sure they are super intelligent because, you know, they believe that there is God who want to give you endless number of women and your private part would be endless. I mean, this is obviously endless religion, uh, sexual religion. And obviously Islam is amazing and uh, they have the right to get you busted. I mean, how in the world you can deny such a logical religion that if you go and kill some people, you go to heaven, and you know right away Allah will open a door for you in a house full of women and they are fighting over you one she will uh, bite your ear the other one she will bite your nose the other one will bite <coughs> uh, your toes so they will fight over you I mean this it makes sense it makes sense you know I mean what why what is the problem why you don't understand it makes sense that they don't know even until now if Allah is a spirit or not. If you ask a Muslim, is your God Allah a spirit? He will say yes. Actually, I never spoke to someone online, as I remember. He did not say, maybe if you, maybe one or two, they get me the correct answer. All of them, they say, oh, yes, Allah has a spirit. This is what they think. But the fact Allah has no spirit according to Muslims, but not according to Allah. Because, you see, here there's a question. <clears throat> I don't know if you can read the whole. He is debating with the Christian and uh, is asking, does God have a spirit? Maybe he's talking about me. And the answer is simply, no, Allah does not have a spirit. But where it says in the Quran, Allah has no spirit. Nowhere. 
Did Muhammad say Allah has no spirit? Nowhere. You see, all those he, he gave us like verses had nothing to do with the question. No. Anyone see anything have to do? Uh, I mean, what, what, is the, what is the answer? Nothing. There's no answer in the The question is something, the answer is something else. Hmm? <clears throat> what is the answer? What even those verses have to do with the question? The guy is asking you, do Allah have a spirit? The answer, no, he don't have a spirit. But where it says that? You want to tell me, Allah is all hearing, but he have ears. His ear is different. Allah have hands, uh, but his hand is different. Allah have a foot, uh, but his foot is different. But my foot is different too. I mean, so what does this have to do with the question? So, the question in Islam have an answer only in one case. If the question is silly and stupid. Like a brother, somebody brother, he is asking brother, can he shave around his private part brother? This question will find a million scholar volunteer to give you the answer for it. For sure, this is their specialty. But the second we ask, how the Quran is not created? Why Allah has no spirit? And who said so? Where are you getting me the answer from? They don't know. Read the whole article, you will not see anything have to do with the question. Nowhere. You know? They say to you, Allah, he created Adam and he breathed into him. Hmm? But it says, my soul. So how Allah, he breathed from his soul, but he didn't have a soul. Have you ever heard of somebody saying, I breathe into you from my soul, but yet I don't have a soul? If we go right now to the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, give me a second to open the yellow pages of Mr. Muhammad. We have to say, uh, Mr. Muslims get offended. You can't offend Muslims. No way, don't dare. I, I will never dare to do so. You know, I love the Muslims, by the way, but they are funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let us go here and type in Arabic. Hey, by the way, Christian Prince, you do not know Arabic. Okay. I don't know. I do not know Arabic. All right. It says here. <clears throat> uh, there's many verses speak about uh, spirit. Hmm? But look at this verse. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتَهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعْهُ لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ Okay. نَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي Translation. Translation of the Muslims have nothing to do with the Quran. Look at the fabrication. So when I have finished, uh, fashioned him, completely and breathe into him Adam the soul it doesn't say that it says from my soul not the soul which it created for him it doesn't say that too so from here to here all of this is a fabrication let us change the translation I don't know can you guys read the whole verse is the whole thing appearing for you I think it's appearing let me, I will change the translator, which means by changing the translator, we change the fabricator because all of them, they are a bunch of idiot who are fabricating answers, especially the confusing ones. They are doing it on purpose. Ahmad Raza Khan. I don't know, this guy Raza Khan is a new, I did not see him before. Okay. Therefore, I have properly fashioned him and breathed into him, chosen noble soul from my soul. What? Chosen noble soul from my soul. <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy not only a fabricator he is a fabricator he is a certified donkey chosen chosen i, I breathe into him a chosen noble soul from myself what, what does that mean he breathed into him 
chosen noble soul from myself. What does that mean? Like you have a basket full of souls. He put it in his mouth and then he breathed it. <sighs> like Allah, he swallowed a soul and then he breathed it. What does that mean? I mean, look at the stupidity. Let us change the translator, which means translate, changing the fabricator. This is Raza Khan. Let us see another idiot. <clears throat> Uh, uh, let us see. Uh, Sahih International. Uh, thank you, thank you, guys. Those who are uh, making donation, I apologize. I, I'm not saying thank you, but for sure I appreciate your your uh, your support to what we do. And when I have protein him <laughs> and breathe into him. From my created soul, look, 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 look. They put the word between two brackets to see the fabrication, which means the original is of my soul. Do you see it, guys? Of my soul. There is no created soul. You see how they lie? Now, why they are adding this created thing? Because if they want to support the idea that Allah don't have a soul, then they have to add the word the created soul because the verse in Arabic says and I breathe in him from my soul not from my created soul the word the created does not exist anyone who knows Arabic uh, no CP the word doesn't say CP <laughs> so you see here because they are so confused and they are trying to be consistent with their sect this is a sect opinion this is not Islam opinion which mean I am a person who believe in a sect in Islam and this sect support that Allah has no spirit okay but the Quran says Allah he have a spirit so what we will do we will say he did not mean that, even though it says that. Ah, so the Quran says something mean means something else. This is a chapter 15, verse number 29. Right? <clears throat> uh, thank you for all that you do, brother. God bless you. Thank you, SB. And, you know, thank you all of you guys. Uh, I know, guys, you, you, uh, anyone miss me? Nobody miss me. Nobody ask about me except those who send me a message in Patreon, which is don't don't do that. Trust me, if I can come on online, I will come. But until now, actually, I'm afraid I will lose my internet soon, because usually this is what happened. I go online in the last few days, as you notice, and then suddenly, bing, you know, like it's like a black hole, uh, you know, in the sky. The internet is gone. <clears throat> I hope next week we will have something better. So I just hear here it says. فإذا سويته ونفخت فيه من روحي فقعوا له ساجدين فيه من روحي I can take this one right now you can copy it yourself you do not need to speak Arabic count the, the you know I mean just to freeze the screen take a snapshot and copy those words even though you do not know Arabic take it to Google translation you will see it says فيه من روحي in him from my soul as simple as that. There is no created soul. There is no, uh, you know, a chosen soul. All of this is a fabrication. So, so why? What is the purpose of this fabrication? Why Islam does not go by even by their book? Because that will bring a trouble. How we say Allah is above everything, but he have a soul. But the Quran says he have a soul. You know, hold on. I will go with their fabricated translation. When Allah, he breathed, the breath is coming from where? I will give the Muhammadan three options. Allah, he breathed from his mouth. And that breathing is coming from inside him. Now, what he is breathing and what was inside him. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Who, who understand me? What I'm trying to say to you. 
You see, if that soul, if that soul is uh, created, created, you know, like the same as, uh, you know, God, he created the mud, all right? So that soul have a source, where it's coming from. The Quran in front of us says that it's coming from inside Allah. Do, do you understand me? Okay, if this soul is created, why it's coming from inside Allah? Are we following, guys? I hope we are taking notes. You see, I'm trying to break things down for you so you can see what I'm trying to, like, you know, it's like I'm drawing a paint for you, but slowly. So, I breathe. And the breathe, I mean, even why Allah is saying he breathe? You know, if the Muslims are consistent, and they are saying Allah have no soul, Allah has no blah, 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 but he breathe. How he breathe? Hmm? Some Muslims, they will say to you, in Arabic it says, وَنَفَخْتُ Which means, I blow. I blow. Okay, he blow from where? The same, I blow, you know? From inside, from my, inside my body, I have, I have lungs. And from inside my body, I blow whatever it is like air right so when allah he blow or he breathe this is coming from inside him what is inside allah obviously a soul the soul was inside allah now if allah is god we are talking now we are going with the muslims step by step they say allah is god Okay, but Allah does not have a spirit. Uh huh. But why Allah is breathing from inside him a soul? If the soul is created by him, the way they are trying to describe, which means it's not originated from, I don't mind, by the way, to say the soul is created by him, if he is God. But there is origin of life. You see, when the Messiah, he says, uh, I am the life. I am the life. What does that mean? That's mean all life is coming by him, from him. So God, he breathed into Adam. That's mean the, the soul of Adam coming from God. The spirit of God is able to provide souls and, uh, you know, give everybody life. Muhammad and they have a confusion, as usual. Allah have no soul, but yet he is a breathing soul into someone else so does that mean he make the soul then he swallow the soul and then he breathe the soul i mean how silly is that there is do we have any muslim here do we have any muslim and again here we find that jesus the christ in the quran he do the same as allah Look, the Quran says, this is about the creation of Adam. And this is chapter 15, verse number 29. And by the way, this chapter is hilarious, showing us that the one who made the Quran is an idiot, officially. Actually, not only officially, he is a certified idiot. Anyone remember why? Because here, supposedly Allah, he is saying, uh, Allah, he said, And look at the translation. And then she O Muhammad. But it doesn't say that, you know. I mean, so, and when Allah, he said to the angel, I will create a human out of a clay from a black mud. Okay. And then he made the clay and then he breathed into him. So the angels prostrate all of them uh, entirely. Why? Why the angels, they, 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 you know, they did that? Which is this? Any Muslim have an idea? 
I mean, uh, supposedly Allah is their God. They knew He's their God, right? Okay. Now, why they did bow down when He created Adam? Is that because they see how amazing Allah is? Well, isn't it? Don't they know that He created them and their creation is more amazing than the man? Isn't it? Angels are way more powerful than a human being. They are eternal creatures. Very powerful. So what this is about? The story here is cut off because Muhammad, again, is a certified idiot. The story, in order to understand what happened here, uh, we have to go to a different chapter. Is that correct? And this is always, you know, Islam is like this. You know, Muhammad is, is a guy who, who say things and there is, they are disconnected. There is no connection between them. And like here. And then except Iblis, he refused to be with the protesters. Okay, hold on. I mean, look at this crazy stuff. Iblis, what Iblis have to do with this? And why Iblis have to bow down to Adam? They bow down to who? They bow down to Allah or to Adam? That doesn't say. In fact, they bow down to Adam. But in order to understand this funny yellow pages, you have to go to different verses in the Quran. Let us go to the front yellow pages chapter. <clears throat> uh, oops. Oh boy. Adima. My room is a little bit dark. Okay. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا Okay, what does that mean? Chapter 2, chapter two verse number 30. When Allah, he said to the angels, I am going to create an, a successive, successive authority. Authority, I mean, this translation is amazing. Let me change the translation. This guy is a, I mean, sahih, sahih. Oh boy. Let us see another idiot, Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Ali. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I will create, uh, you know, someone to inherit the earth. But inherit the earth from whom? Mm -hmm. They said, will thou place therein one who will make mischief therein and shed blood? Okay. So the angels are questioning Allah. And here you see the story is very funny. I mean, how those angels are obedience to Allah, total obedience. Yet they are questioning decision of God. Are you? Are you? Do you see? You know? Will thou place therein one who will make mischief therein and shed blood? Hmm? And we are the one who glorify you? I mean, what is this? Then Allah, he get angry. So Allah, he want to show them. You see, he said to them, he said, I know what you know not, which means you are a bunch of idiot, potato, tomato. Hmm? Maybe at that time, Allah he did not learn from a Christian prince how to say that. So he said, I know what you know not. What does that mean? That means they knew that Adam would shed blood. Allah, he says, you are wrong. He will not. He will be a good boy. And obviously later Allah got busted because Adam was kicked out from heaven. And then Allah, he wanted to get the, the angel busted. So he taught Adam the names of all things. Now the Bible says that God, he taught Adam all things, which means he gave him, you know, uh, his knowledge. But here, Allah, he taught Adam the names of all things, and then he placed them before the angels. So Allah is making a quiz. He want to show them that he knew everything. How he want to prove that? So he got a dog and a cat and a pig and a cow okay so he said to Adam hold on let me let me get a picture so that can help you in understanding my uh, uh, my point of view or actually it's not a point of view it's what happening uh, give me a second <clears throat> all right I'm surprised until now we did not lose the internet okay
Okay, let us let us do this. So let us say Allah He put those things in the front. Uh, he taught Adam about their names. Adam, this is a snake. Okay. Adam, this is turtle. Okay. Uh, this is uh, uh, Allah. No, actually, this is jellyfish. Okay. Uh, this is uh, tiger. Okay. Uh, this is a dog. Oh, skip the dog. Allah, he hates dogs. This is elephant. Okay. Now, so Adam, he learned. And then Allah, he placed, placed those things in the front of the angels. He asked the angels, what is that in the screen? Uh, angels, they look up, look down, look left, look right. They give up. They said, can we call a friend? Allah, he said, no. Then he asked them, okay, what is this thing? The angels look around, look up, look down. And they look actually surprised like the dog here. I mean, you can tell this dog is like, well, you know. And then he said, the time is up. Allah, he said to them, time is up. And then they could not answer. And then Allah, he said to them, okay, what is this guy? Angels, they look like, what? What is this? Uh, we, you know, they start talking to each other, whispering, like, whisper, 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 whisper. and none of them can get the answer. Hmm? And then time is up. And then he showed them more things. What is this? And each time he asked them a question, if they could not answer it, he will ask Adam, you know, and Adam will give the answer. So Adam, what is this? A uh, chicken. Adam, this is not a chicken. Um, dog. Adam. Uh, okay, forget about this one, Adam. What is about, what about this one? Adam, I told you the name, right? You remember? Uh, this is... Uh, 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 Obama, uh, you know, psh, Adam, psh, psh, what, psh, come on, ah, uh, okay, uh, this is a uh, camel, uh, psh, uh, okay, hold on, I, uh, I will take time, uh, Adam, what's wrong with you, I told you, it's a fox, tell them, it's a fox, it's a fox, okay, and this is how Allah, he proved to Adam, uh, sorry, to the angels, that you are stupid, you do not know the names of those things, but look how funny the story is, I mean, I am the one who named those things names. So I named the fox, fox. And then I named the zaraf, zaraf. And then I named this, uh, whatever they call it, uh, jumbo, bumbo, uh, cow, whatever. Uh, uh, and this guy, uh, I named him Susu. Then I ask you, what is the name of this dog? You said to me, I do not know. See? See? You do not know? Ignorant, stupid? I know the name of the dog. His name is Susu. Hmm? See? I am God. So Allah, he proved that he is God by naming things and he asked him about the names and they could not find out. And here we go back to question number one. Who is this God Allah who come with such a stupid method to prove that he is all knowledgeable? I don't know how many of us don't understand me because if I am the one who named the dog Susu and then I ask you what is the name of my dog? And you say, I do not know. How I'm proving to you that I'm God? By knowing the name. I am the one who gave the name to the dog. Do you understand me? Hmm? So this God is not only funny, hilarious, is stupid. Because you did not prove to me that you are God by knowing the name, because you are the one who named the name. What, we, what about we do the opposite? What about you say to the angels, you give those animals names, and don't tell me, and I will tell you. That will prove that he is all knowledgeable. But you give the name, and that will make you all knowledgeable. And this is about if Adam want to do mischievement or not. <laughs> so what we see here, we see that the Quran is a collection of stupid stories. It doesn't fit even for a brain of a kid. Actually, a brain of a scroll is better than the brain of Muhammad or the brain of Allah if he exists. Actually, this poor animal, as I know, he hides his food under the ground, but then later he forgets where he hides it. So, what we see here, that a very silly cult, they do not know if Allah is a spirit, has a spirit or not. They come with answers. Everyone, he give you his own answer. Which means, Muslims, they have like a collection of answers, but none of them match. And the second you start asking serious questions, 
you might get killed. As long as you are asking stupid questions, you are a hero. As an example, brother. Brother, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> it doesn't work this way. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. It's in the middle of the night and I'm sleeping right now. Hey, Zach and Nick, we have just a question, please. I mean, nobody can answer the question except you and the scroll. Christian Prince, because, because you insist, I'm going to answer you. But from now on, I'm going to tell you. Okay, Charlie, no problem. You know, I will, you know, Allah will give you versions in return. Exactly. Uh, 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 Zach and Nick, how Allah, he proved to the angels that he knew everything if he is the one who gave the names of all things. How that can prove that he's Allah? How he, I mean, he knew the name because he gave, he made the names. Listen, 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 listen to me carefully. First of all, you don't know Arabic. And you don't know grammar. And you are stupid. And this is my answer. Okay, okay. I, I get you. So stupid and I don't know Arabic. I don't uh, know grammar. But what is the answer? Uh, why you are... Christian Prince, why are you trying to copy my voice? You lost your teeth? Uh, but still, I want my answer. Christian Prince, you want the answer? Uh, <clears throat> this is Islam. What is the answer? How Allah trying to prove to me that he is all knowledgeable by naming things and then he asked me if I know the names. That is the most stupid story ever. And then the story get more complicated and more funny and more stupid. After Allah, he taught Adam all the names. He placed those things in front of them and they do not know. And he said to them, tell me the names of ye are right. If ye are right, which mean, right about what? Right about Adam would do mischief You know what I mean? <laughs> but what does this have to do with this? Ah, a lot proving to the angels that do not know the unseen. And now supposedly he is the one who knew the unseen. But the unseen is seen by him already, how it is unseen. He is the one who gave the names for those things. No, Allah is not trying to show anything. This is Muhammad's stupid story. It's a story made by a seventh grade child. And it doesn't fit with somebody who have a small, tiny brain. Because ask yourself, I mean, I will, I, will, I will prove to you that I know by naming my dog Susu. And then I ask you, what is the name of my dog? You do not know. And that proof that I know. That is stupid, you know. So obviously, the one who come with those stories uh, is a person trying to create a religion. He stole the story of Adam from different belief. The story of the Messiah from different belief. A story about the black storm from different belief. A story about fading stars from different belief. A story about uh, God, he have warehouse full of uh, ice and, you know. All, all those stories are coming from somewhere. And then Muhammad, he put them all together and he come with religion, it's called Islam. This is why this religion is silly, stupid. Like, if I want to ask Muslims now, Allah who proved to me that he is all knowledgeable, but by teaching Adam all the names, how Allah he created, where is the ice is coming from? The ice, according to Islam, is coming from mountains in heaven. Hmm. Let us see. I mean, obviously, Allah is all knowing. Yanzir al Let us see. Uh, no, that is what a what a cult, man! What a cult! All right. By the way, if there is any Muslim here is listening and he, uh, you know, uh, he don't agree with us, feel free. Uh, let us see. Look at this verse here. I don't know what to say really. 
I mean, a human being, how a human being can believe uh, in such a religion, I don't know, but, you know, they believe. They believe. Every single verse in the Quran is a chain of stupidity and fabrication. As an example, here, this is chapter 30, verse number uh, uh, 24. It says here that Allah, he sent the rain from the sky. And the sky, you know, the earth will be alive. There's nothing, I mean, it's okay there. But if you go to chapter 13, verse number 13 and by the way this is not metaphorical because some they will say to you it's metaphorical if you go and see what islam or muslims believe about the thunder the thunder is an angel of god who his job to 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 lead the cloud from a place from point a to point b and the lighting you see is to direct the cloud from a place to place there is 70,000 angels in his right hand and 70,000 angels in his left hand. So when he moves his right hand, they are trying to explain what is the sound we hear. You know? uh, so Allah who is teaching Adam the names, he thinks that the angel is a thunder and thunder is worship in Allah. This is not metaphorical. Again, you know, I, I have no problem to accept this as a, as a metaphorical that everything in this earth and the heaven praise God, you know? I can say the thunder is, is showing the glory of God, how God is powerful. He created the thunder. That is not a problem. But this is, uh, this is not what the verse means. You can open uh, the interpretation for the verse and you can see. Any Muslim have a doubt about it? <clears throat> Any Muslim you don't agree? That this is what the verse mean? I can go right now. Let me open interpretation. And you will see, they, they say that the, the angels, uh, thunder is an angel. Uh, give me a second. Let us hope that the website of the King of Jordan is working because usually never work. As usual. Until now it's not opening. Looks like it's not going to work. But anyway, you can go to atafsir.com and, uh, you know, uh, because for me it's not opening. And you can try later. Uh, actually, it's open. Hold on. Give me a second. Finally, it's open. It's a miracle. This, this king, not only his, you know, even his website is bankrupt. All right. I will put it for you on the screen in a second. Give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, because they might say to you, oh, this is fabrication. This is what Christian Prince is saying. It doesn't say that, you know. You yeah, know. We show everything in the screen. Still, they accuse us of lying. Okay. All right, finally the website is open so we can show it. Uh, I will zoom out so you guys can read it better. Let's see, is it working fine? A uh, little bit more, maybe. Yeah, now you can see the whole image. All right, so it says here, and the thunder, this is an, this is an angel who is in charge of the cloud, driving them while he constantly proclaims his praise, all right? So, thunder is an angel. He's literally an angel. This is not metaphorical. He is an angel, all right? Now, if you go to the ver different verse in the Quran, as an example, chapter 24, verse number 43, it says, Don't you see that Allah drives the cloud? Then he brings them together and he makes them into a mass, you see the rain emerge from within it. Amazing. I mean, everybody know that when the cloud come, rain come. And then he sent down from the sky. And look here at the first translation. Let me zoom in. 
Here is the deception to try to fool you so you don't see the mistake. Look at this. Here it says, and you and and then, and he sent down from the sky mountain of a cloud. Does it say really that? Who speak Arabic and he is a Muslim? Who speak Arabic in the chat? Oh, I hope the guy who no CP. No CP, this guy, you know, this kid. Adam Tara. Hmm? Okay, Ara what? I did not see anything. Okay, and then. وَيُنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ He sent down from the sky, from mountains in it. Hail. So look at the translation. In order to cover the stupidity of the author of the Quran, they change the translation. Now, how we can know the Christian prince is not lying? Maybe the Muslims are right. Maybe they, maybe he's lying. How we knew? Go and read the interpretation. Go and read the interpretation. If the interpretation is saying what Christian prince is saying, well, I mean, it's obvious. The, the verse saying that Allah, he sent hail from mountains in the sky. Not what they are saying. So, the God of the Quran claiming that he knew everything, he knew what Adam would do, he got the angels busted by naming things, but yet he did not know where is hail coming from. There is a there is a fabricated book, it's called the Book of Enoch. I don't know how many of you heard it. This book uh, obviously uh, have have origins of it. You know, this is not in the, from the Bible, this is we're talking about a fake book. So it says that God, he have a warehouse where he store, and, you know, gold and silver and etc. And, you know, everything. So Muhammad is have, believing in the same idea that there is God who have in the sky storage. And from that storage, he sent down to earth. And hail is mountains of hail. Allah, he break it and he send it down. Now, uh, Christian Prince is lying, so let us get him busted. No CP, it doesn't say that CP. Okay, let us go to the interpretation and see. Hmm. All right, chapter 24, verse number 43. Again, for those who they are, chapter 24, verse number 43. Because maybe, maybe you know, they are right, uh, CP is wrong, you know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right. This is Tafsir Ajalalain. Let me zoom out so you guys can read. I hope I hope that the image is coming clear for you. Let me see. I think it's fine. Okay. Look at this. Hmm. <clears throat> And he sent down from heaven out of mountains. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? So why in the translation it says the opposite? What mountain of cloud? And from heaven out of mountains. Min jibal. He even typed in Arabic, in, in, like, uh, using Latin word uh, letters. Min jibal in from mountains. Many is extra are uh, that are there in in the heaven. There is mountain in the heaven, and Allah He sent down from those mountains. Do you see it? Maybe this one is wrong. Let us go. Let us see Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Okay. I mean, or let us see Ibn Abbas first. Hold on. Why we don't go to Ibn Abbas in the same website first? Maybe Ibn Abbas can give us more details. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. Look what he says. He sent down from the heaven mountain wherein is hail. Do you see it? <laughs> he said, he says, look, he says, he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. The Muslims, they start adding the word cloud. 
and they start acting you know, saying like uh, mountains. It doesn't say that. No CP. No CP. I mean, this guy, uh, I, I, some, somebody sent me his video. I cannot even forget how he say, no CP. <laughs> this is the cousin of Muhammad. I want to see Ibn Kathir actually in English because Ibn Kathir in English is different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic, by the way. Yeah, everything in English is different. Trust me. Because they try to hide everything. Let me see. <coughs> Sorry, Ibn Kathir. 2443, Ibn Kathir. All right. Ibn Kathir, by the way, one of the biggest liars in his time. Like this guy is a professional liar. Yet we use him to get them busted. All right. Which means it's just a liar like them. He, you know, Tafsir Ibn Kathir is made just to defend Islam, not to explain Islam. Same as now, the Christians were getting Muhammad busted in the time of Ibn Kathir, and he made the interpretation just to defend Islam, not to explain, by fabricating lies. All right? Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Okay, Ibn Kathir, what is the answer, brother? He sent down from the sky from min mountains from which have ice <laughs> some they say that it, this is described where the first uh, uh, min min which mean from describe the place it's coming from the second specify from which part from the sky it come <laughs> and the third means some kind of mountains. <laughs> mean that there are mountains of hail in the sky from which Allah sent down ice. Huh? This is the refrigerator of Allah. Do you see it? Now the Abdul, they will say, no CP. It doesn't say that, CP. You do not know Arabic, CP. This is God. And this is explained to us why Islam is so stupid. So they do not know who is Allah. They do not know what he is made of. They do not know what the word Allah means. They do not know what Allah is talking about. I mean, this Allah is all knowledgeable, but he, he, he is not even qualified to tell us the weather news. Imagine you have somebody in your TV station right now. You go on TV. I'm going to tell you today a new scientific fact that Allah He made ice from mountain in heaven, and He break it pieces and He throw it at you. And then, like you say, like wow, man, this is so good. So Allah have a freezer in heaven. There is mountains of ice, and He break it pieces. That's so good. I'm truly convinced. I don't know how many of you are thinking to convert to Islam now with this amazing knowledge. I'm surprised we did not lose the internet. Like, what? <laughs> Can you explain to us where in Arabic Quran said there is inter <coughs> intercession expected concerning intercession is accepted concerning satanic versus cause Indonesian Quran does not translate that way. Um, yeah, well, you know, uh, the Satanic Verses, there is a book written a long time ago. I mean, it's not even a big book. It's not even important. But the Muslim make it famous, which is very good. Uh, Allah, he will uh, delete the Satanic Verses. But Allah... He, you know, he uh, he approve that there is satanic verses by saying, "I will delete them." And now the Muslim they start saying, "No, CP, it doesn't say that, CP." Chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. It says that Satan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, and then Allah he will delete them. What's a problem? Actually, we made just a video just uh, a few days ago. I don't know if you watch it, where the Muslim, the Muhammad, and he said that uh, somebody he made eleven knots, 
for the prophet and he became crazy for one year hmm? Muhammad was a crazy man for 11 sorry 11 months so took Allah and according to him took Allah 11 month or 12 month to take off every knot so every knot need one month of Allah hard work hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? So as you see, you know, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. Everything, if you if you are if you are a person, just join us. Please watch the video from the beginning and laugh. They have no idea what Islam is about. They believe that their prophet was stupid or crazy for more than a year. They believe this is what they believe. How that can be? That's amazing, isn't it? Thank you, my Assyrian brother. How are you? Can you answer my question? What is your question, the dawn? Write your question again, please. I'm looking now at the chat. I don't look at the chat always, you know. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan have anything to say? How Muhammad predict that Arab would build a tall building? You see, okay, you know, uh, Muhammad, he predicted many things. But the Arab in the time of Muhammad already, they have high buildings. Yemen, my friend, have high buildings before Europe. So what, what kind of prediction is that? What prediction is that? Go go and watch any uh, pictures of Yemen. I mean, this is silly. What is higher? What is higher than you know? Like, I mean, the, you know, people they say things which is stupid. But let us see the the claim. How Muhammad he knew? Uh, let me op open the hadith so we can laugh together. Give me a second please because you know what people do usually they take only one of what he said and they say this is true look how he knew that the Arab they would have high buildings okay let us see how funny this statement is this is the hadith read and laugh because everything there is stupid here we go this is the height in front of me, all right? Uh, did you read the hadith yourself or you just copy paste? Hmm? Read with me carefully. It says before the Arab, they have high buildings. Uh, right, guys, do you see the numbers? Do you see the numbers? This is the Muslim translation, not mine. This is Muslim translation, okay. He said the hour will not establish until two big groups fight each other whereupon there will be great number of casualty on both sides and they will be following one of the same uh, religious doctrine which means they have one belief okay what is that the hour will not come unless this happen both have the same religion which is that? If you want to say the third, the second world too, well, they don't have the same religion. There's Muslim was joining with Hitler. There is the Japanese. I mean, what is that? What what is going? What we talk about? Okay, then, and then there is a thirty liars appear. Thirty. There's millions already there. You know, starting from Muhammad, claim that he is Allah Messenger. Only thirty. Okay. And then till religious knowledge is taken away okay so before the, the high building happened nobody will know about Islam anymore they know about how to make ice cream they knew how to make chocolate but before they have high building this is number what number three read carefully Don, are you watching Don? Don, are you watching okay uh, so by the death of the religious scholar that's it there's no more scholars that's it 
and then earthquake will increase in number. Hmm. Number five, time will pass quickly. Is the day is shortened now? Like is our day became half hour? Number six, affliction will appear. Hmm. Number uh, seven, al-harj, al where people they will kill each other, blah, 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 blah. And then wealth will be abundance. And then the Arab will build the building. <laughs> do you see money in the street and nobody collecting the money so do you see how many lies he made so look what happened the Muhammad he made look how let, let us collect how many lies okay so look carefully tell the worth will not, will, uh, will be in abundance nobody will collect money so go like go go in front of my house really there's like 10 million dollars nobody will take it my friend nobody nobody Actually, I saw a guy, I said to him, there's like a thousand dollars on the floor. He said, come on, who would take money? <laughs> we don't, right? So people will abandon the wealth. Nobody will worry, okay? Nobody. And then, until the people compete with in a, in a contradiction of buildings. So this is number nine. So Muhammad, he made eight stupid mistakes and lies. And number nine is the correct one. Do you see it? Do you see it, Mr. Don? So what, what they say is a lie. They copy this to show you Muhammad predicting, but he already predicted nine things, which is fabric. Before the Arab have high buildings, people should not collect money from the street. Do you see it? Hmm. Since what year you do this in YouTube? Uh, maybe 2010, something like this, or nine, seven. I'm not sure really. Uh, because I did the YouTube, uh, most times they post uh, videos supposedly or pictures, supposedly it's me. And you know. <coughs> anyway, so I said to myself, uh uh, the Muslims is asking me to make videos in YouTube. So I decided to make videos. Actually, they challenged me to make videos too. Uh, every, anything I do, actually, I did because Muslims asked me to do. The Muslims they said to me, as, as long as you are so much knowledgeable, why you don't have books? So I said, let me make books. The Muslims they said to me, uh, there is a program, it's called Pal Talk. If you are a man, come there. I went to Pal Talk. The Muslim, they, you know, they invite me to YouTube. I came to YouTube. You know? It's like, a, it's like their genie. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. So, as you see, when the Muslim try to fool you, they say, Muhammad, he predicted many things. I mean, those things are the most stupid things he predict. As an example, Muhammad, he predict that the measure of mankind will be the Roman. Hmm? Really? The Roman will be the majority of uh, the, the, let us see. Um, let me, I'm trying to find the Hadith. Here we go. I heard Allah Messenger. Okay, what what you heard? What you heard? Tell us, please. I heard that the last hour would would come when the Roman would be the majority among the people. <laughs> Unbelievable. See, it's true. It's true. The Roman now is the major. Uh, you know. Indonesia alone is more than maybe six, seven times of the Roman population, if we call it the Italian, the Roman. What this guy is talking about? Ibn Antitar. Prophet Muhammad, he predicted many things. Add an example. He predicted that in winter we will have rain, and in the morning we will have sun. And did it happen? And not only that, he predicted that women, they will have their period. How he knew that? That's amazing. How he knew that? How he knew that?
So Muhammad, we can say, he is a certified liar. And in order to believe in the lies of Muhammad, you have to be a certified donkey. Sorry to say so. This is how it is. I mean, you, if Muhammad is a prophet, a prophet is prophesying, and this is what make him prophet, right? Prophesying. Is that correct? Okay. Well, this is true. Is that true? The Roman today didn't even have nukes. What Roman? What is this? This is a guy, he is coming from the Shish Kebab land, trying to explain to us how to make hummus, but you do not know how to make it. Hmm? So I, I think we, you know, like we have to be, uh, you know, don't, don't just follow blindly. They make tons of videos, medias, they spend a lot of money trying to fool you. And, you know, I, this is why I advise you to download my videos, share them with your, your kids. I mean, if you have like teenage, you know, youth, let them see so people will not laugh at them. You know? Yeah, I love my sense of humor too. What sense of humor? Jamal Khan, I don't have sense of humor. Sense of humor? No, it's a sense of humor. We slash with it. But don't worry. Be happy. The Muslims will make a video and they will get me busted. No, CP. I did not say that, CP. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> So, you know, we have to be uh, smart. Otherwise, uh, you know, scammers and fabricators are everywhere. Muhammad, he claimed to be prophet. He is not different from many false fraud. What? Okay. I challenge Muslims as we speak right now to show me one place Muhammad, he said the prophecy come to be true. Anyone? Right now, here we go. Choose one. Which prophecy come to be true? Let me make 100 prophecy. Maybe one of them will come true and that will make me a prophet. It doesn't matter if the 99, 99 prophecy are, are lies. <laughs> but even that one, I cannot find it. Hmm? What do you think? Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, hold on, somebody's asking. Show me link of website that you claim it is King of Jordan website. Why I want to show you the link of the website I claimed. What does that mean? I claimed. I mean, claimed, guys. I claimed. Look, look, look at the Muslim from all the fart and the poopoo -poo we are talking about. Show me. The website you claimed it is the king of Jordan. Huh, must, this is a Muslim now. So Muslim, intelligent, super intelligent. Show me. No, not like this. Critic Prince, I trained you. I trained you to tell me that this is an Islamic website from the king of Jordan. So all the garbage we just showed you, this is what you want me to show you? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here we go, my friend. My friend, here we go. Ahlul Bayt, Amman, Jordan. Do you see it? The Institute of Ahlul Bayt, because the king, the royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute. Do you know what the royal mean? Let me introduce you to royal. Royal mean royalty. Who is the one is a royal in Jordan? Who is the one? Aha. Okay, I got it. Oh, uh, no, not Michael Jackson. Still Vrister Stallone. Like, supposedly now you want to get me busted. Show me. Show me. You show me. Show you. <laughs> show me. I mean, is that how you want to get me busted? Like, so are you thinking about this for long? 
How, how long it take you to come with this challenge? Hey, show me that the one you claim. Like you claim, I claim. You see, it, even in this one, they accuse me to be a liar. I mean, would you know? Uh, is it legit no it's not legit my friend it's made in China <laughs> is it legit <laughs> my friend nothing in your cult is legit so why the website will be legit everything about you Muslims are, are not legit what legit legit since when you are legit people everything about you is not legit even the hadith of your prophet is daif daif what does that mean it's not legit this is what you claim this is what you claim daif it's which means you muslims lie about your prophet you fabricate stories you put in the book and you claim it is your prophet saying it and then after a, th a, a, a thousand or four hundred years abdul from the middle of nowhere putting his finger in his nose while he's making youtube brother and the tardated hadith is daif a Christian prince is lying to you. <laughs> it's not legit. Nothing about you is legit. Nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, so, guys, uh, I, I'm, I'm so glad we did not lose the internet, which is surprising. And then, I don't know why. Huh, that's strange. How come? Maybe because Allah is going to send hail on me from mountains which is in the sky as the chapter is saying. Uh -huh. He didn't want me to move, sit in the chair so he can send the hail. Oh boy. <clears throat> the fact that the weak Arab who were fighting Rome and Persia and won the miracle is a miracle by itself no don't you see you are being silly my friend the Arab they won because simply the Arab the, the Persian and the Roman they were fighting as you said they are demolished they demolish each other for 300 years the Roman and the Persian they are killing each other Muhammad he came a perfect time whereas both of them they are weak they are very silly and actually Muhammad himself he attacked the Roman he failed if you go and see what when Muhammad he went all the way to the book you remember when he said attack the Roman get the blonde girls he went he did not do it he could not do it he did not defeat the Roman he did not defeat the Persians Muhammad did not <laughs> and when you say the Arab you make me laugh uh, and if if uh, if somebody defeat his enemy that will make it a miracle that's very stupid of you well, here we go. The Russian they can defeat all the Muslims together. Hmm. That's mean Putin is a prophet, and he is God, or maybe he is the God of gods. Very silly, stupid. I mean, some people they have like a brain of a, of a turtle. I'm oh, sorry, turtle is faster. Uh, <clears throat> uh, can I ask a question about my faith? Hmm. And what's your faith? So look all the stupid things we saw we show to Mr. Don. He don't care. The fact that the Arab won the war, well, the, okay, the Arab are losing war always. The fact that the Israeli took Jerusalem, it's a miracle. After losing Jerusalem for a thousand of years, they have it back. What does what does this have to do? I mean, silly. Sometimes you feel sadly there are some people they have a, a brain of a turtle, and but they look like adult. They look mature. But in fact, they are not. They are not mature. All right. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? I'm not going to stay long. I'm afraid to lose the internet. Uh, right. <laughs> No, you know, winning or losing, I mean, this is war. It's about the nations who they are weak, and you are stronger, you win. Yeah, here we go. I says they are praying to Allah 24 hours, 7 days a week. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, suicide bombing. And then now they have 60,000 of them. 
captured like cats. 60,000 didn't know what to do with them. What is Allah? Where was Allah when, 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 when the Jews took Jerusalem? Where was Allah when al qurmati destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone? Where he was? Right? Where is Allah now? I can tell you where is Sulaimani now. And even when they want to do like revenge from America, I mean, this is the most funny revenge. They call Trump, they say to him, Trump, tomorrow after one middle of the night, we are going to shoot, uh, shoot sorry, uh, muscles, miss muscles, not missiles, muscles at your base in Baghdad. Please tell your army to leave. <laughs> three hours, guys, three hours before they shoot, they call the American, not even a single soldier was in the base. I mean, you see how they see their, um, and then Allah Akbar, Takbir, Allah Akbar, we attack America, Allah Akbar, what the heck? <laughs> oh, really? Three hours, three hours before the attack. Some they are saying, even they are saying a day before they knew. Oh boy. <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah, when Al when Al when Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba, he not only he destroyed the Kaaba and he killed all the Muslims go around the Kaaba because he got dizzy looking at them. Uh, he was screaming and after he destroyed the Kaaba, in the top of the stones broken, he was screaming, "Allah, where is your where is your birds?" Because remember in the Quran there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the elephant. In case you do not know, the Quran is like a zoo, elephant, spider, I mean you name it. So. The chapter of the elephant claimed that there's an army of Christians coming to destroy the Kaaba. Allah, he sent his birds and he throw rocks at the elephant army. <laughs> you know, like, okay, and they die, brother. Okay, but we know that elephant cannot go all the way to Mecca. I mean, how, how they would live? Elephant, they need 600 liter of water just to, to, to drink. This is not including fresh in himself because he died in the heat. Uh, so when al qurmati he wanted to get Allah busted, he he destroyed the Kaaba and he screamed and he said, "Where is your birds? Who the one who protect the Kaaba? How come they are not showing up? Nothing show up. Nothing show up. And now the American they have their awaks over the Kaaba and nothing show up. The king of Saudi Arabia kissing the shoes of Trump and nothing show up. He is paying him billions of dollars to protect Saudi Arabia. Nothing show up." They took Saddam Hussein, nothing show up. They took Pakistan, Afghanistan, nothing show up. When Allah will show up, eh, just wait for it. Yeah. Yeah. However, those things, you know, for me, I believe, this is just about weak nations versus strong nations. Technology, you know, there's time where, where numbers can count. Today, numbers doesn't count. A female lady wearing high heels, going in an airplane, she can kill millions. Her muscles does not count. I mean, it's not it's not how strong she is, right? So, you know, uh, I'm not going to put that to blame it on God. But uh, Islam is stupid, regardless if Islam Muslims they are victorious or not. Let us say, for sake of argument. Muslims, they have the most advanced weapon in the world and the most advanced airplanes. Still, the, still Islam is stupid. That will not change anything. But how somebody, the definition of the Messiah, you just say the word, you know, the Messiah. Okay, definition of the Messiah is the one who will save you. He is the life. He is the resurrection. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. Everything created by him and for him. That is the definition of the Messiah. So, Everything happened, everything will happen is by him. Everything you have is by him. You created by him, everything created for you by him, and you yourself you will go back to him. And he is the only way to go to the kingdom of God. That is the scripture, and this is the definition, very simple. All right. 
anyway so we we don't judge Islam because they don't have technology it's not true because you might have technology and you, still you are the most ignorant person in the world in, in like in religious or history you know like you go in America you see many people do not even know where is Iraq located I'm telling you but this doesn't mean that if you have technology, that's mean you are the super, super, you know, no. Yeah, just you have technology, you are good in one thing. The rest you are ignorant. So, this is not how we judge Islam. We judge Islam by the teaching of Muhammad, as you see. Islam is stupid, you like it or not. We are not judging Islam by Muslims. Muslims are people like us. There's good people, there's bad people. There's criminals, there's nice people, you know, people. Islam itself is what we judge. As simple as that. Even that one, they don't have much. We have more than them. They are losing ground in everything. Even oil. Right? Uh, you know, and don't waste your time. Like, you know, somebody sent me an email saying the Muslim was saying the grammar in the Quran. You do not understand. Don't waste your time with this garbage because they will play games. Show them stupidity like this. What he can say? Here we go. What he can say about the prophet saying the sun set in the murky water? Hmm. No CP. It is Daif CP. No, it's not Daif. You are the one is Daif. The prophet of God, God told him that the sun sit in a muddy hot water, brother. That's a very powerful teaching of the prophet. It's true, it's true, brother. It's true. Yeah, pray for not to, brother. <laughs> I, I notice always there is a lack of intellect and intelligence. You know, they are blindly trying to answer and they are like, you know, they don't, they aren't even aware what they are talking about. And the funny, they can get me busted, but nobody want to call me. And nobody want to get me busted live on air. But they will make videos and they will see Christian Prince is lying. Lie number one, lie number two. How come we can have good conversation and look at those Christians who mock me is that teaching of Jesus I don't see who is mocking you my friend I think you mock yourself okay when you kiss a black stone you are mocking yourself you're a black stone kisser so if I say to you a black stone kisser I'm mocking you or you're mocking yourself who is mocking you show me what they say to you if somebody insulting a person please don't do that otherwise we will block you Ah, metaphorical, ah, metaphorical, <laughs> metaphorical, yeah. No, actually, it doesn't say muddy pool. It says in a spring of muddy water. You see, they try to lie to you. It says it appear as if it is the guy he saw it. It doesn't say that. Anyway, go, Muhammad, you confirm the story. I mean, name one thing Muhammad he mentioned or the Quran mentioned about nature or science, is, and it's true. You see all those videos in YouTube about uh, amazing discovery of science, we got them busted, all of them. All of them. And I'm willing to take any Muslim anytime to show me one of them is true. Anyone. Not a single one of them. It's just a fraud. And my friend, the proud Indonesian Muslim, you know, we care for you. I'm not against you. I do not know you. You do not know me. But I want you to be fair with yourself, justice to yourself. Don't insult yourself by believing in such a garbage. Anything is embarrassing to Muhammad, they will say it's rejected immediately. We refuse. It was accepted for the last 1400 years. Now it's rejected. Yeah, because it's embarrassing. So you have to be smart, my friend. Right? Well, you know, if you make a video about Wahid, that will make him a, a brave. No, make a video, speak yourself. If he is brave, he should call me 
and I will be really, I will, I will, I will be happy to have him. And he can say to me what he say in his videos that everybody see, you know. What, but why they wanna do that? Why when I call them live, they they mute me, they hang up on me six, seven times, and they did not let me talk because they are intimidated. They don't dare to to talk to me. They did not even give me a chance to speak for a thirty second continue. The total time I spoke in the whole video, it might maybe three minutes, four minutes. <clears throat> anyway, um, I think we have a good time for now and uh, it's enough. Uh, tomorrow I will try to get back. Look like the internet is doing good, but I cannot guarantee it tomorrow. But I think next, uh, starting from the next week, we will have uh, better internet. So guys, I want to say thank you for all those who support us. Uh, thank you for those wonderful people who made the donation. I really appreciate you. And uh, uh, do me a favor, download my videos, share them. They are for free. You know, put them in your channel, get more subscribers. Good for you. You know, I'm not making videos for myself. I never made one for myself. I'm the last one who need a video in my channel. I, actually, I don't keep them in my channel. So download them, share them. Show your family, let them learn. Don't think, don't think that Islam is far away because your child go to school. Your daughter, your son, they meet people. Muslims, they are very well trained to attack a Christianity. Christians, they have nothing to do with Islam. They go to church, they pray. We love everybody, God plus the whole world. That's what they mean. They don't teach them about Islam. While a Muslim, since he is an early child, at the age of six years old, they call them and they teach them that Christians are pigs and the Jews are monkeys. And then the propaganda started. There is millions of videos in YouTube. Go watch them. They are kuffar, they are dirty, etc. And then they start teaching them and teach them. So when your kid, he meet a Muslim, even though they are from the same age, your kid, he have no idea what this guy is talking about. This is why we are here. We are here to train you with knowledge and truth, not fabrication. So you can teach your children and nobody can fool them. So we are doing two things at the same time, protecting you. And now you have a duty to protect your family and those who you care for. I was very happy one day. There is somebody, he was saying, ha, ha, ha. You worship uh, Jesus as a man. He has made him God. You worship a human. And then somebody, he this is in, in, that, in, the, in the text. Someone, he posted, ha, ha, ha. But you can tell it's a kid talking, you know. Ha, 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 ha. You worship Allah as a leg. So I click at the name to see the, who is this one is saying, you know. And it was a kid. It may be like 10 years old. So I was so happy to see that a Christian child, finally he can answer the Muslims. They say to you, you worship a human, but they worship a leg. Their God himself is a leg. This is who is Allah. Allah is a leg. Actually, if I try to draw Allah based on the descriptions, and the funny, like when uh, David Wood, he was debating with, if, if we can call it debate with Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab says to him, who said so? Allah have part, who said so? <laughs> go, go and watch the video I made for him to get him busted. So based on the understanding of the how Allah, he draw himself, not me. Allah have a face. He have two eyes. Actually, we need to, let us make those our two eyes. And this is Allah face. And then Allah, he don't have a shoulders and he don't have a neck. He have only a leg. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then he have two hands, both of them in the right side. Now the right side from your side, from my side, eh, let, it, let us make it from the correct way. How you see the... I think you see it as I see it. So Allah have two hands and each hand have five fingers, but that and both hands in the right side. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. Okay, this is Allah. Nice to meet you. That's it. And they make fun of you for worshiping a man. Hmm. 
This is this is Allah. Allah and I like uh, they say Allah nothing like Allah. Absolutely, look at this, hilarious. Yeah, let me uh, let me uh, sign it. You know, you know I should uh, I should sign it. You know, uh, uh, you should sign it and do some signature. Hamidun, Lainun, Madidun, Madid. Yeah, here we go. So you guys, you don't uh, take it and buy it. Signature. This is Allah. And I change it in Muslim to say I'm lying. And the funny, they say to you, Allah is not here. He don't have a body, CP. Allah don't have a body. Type right now, go to YouTube. Search for Allah's hand. You see the guy in the video. Yes. Allah, he said he have a hand. What I can say? Allah, he said he have hands. Hand is not power. Hand is yad. Power is qudra. The Muslim sheikh is explaining. Zaykar Naik himself, he says, Absolutely Allah body. But his body, not like our body. So, do Allah have a body? Yet he have a body. Do Allah have a faith? Yet he have a faith. Do Allah have a hand? Yet Allah have a hand. But if his hand is not like our hand. How will Allah hand look like? We don't know. Allahu alam. That's what they say. Then when you debate them, they say to you, liar, Allah doesn't have body. I mean, you see the scam? Hmm. Converted to Islam came. Okay. A stupid kid, he converted to Islam. We have six million Muslims living in Islam a day. I mean, this is what you are proud about? Came from, uh, you know, <laughs> came from South Korea. <laughs> I mean, look, look how they think. All the stupidity we just showed you. And what you are worried about, a guy from YouTube, his name is Kim from South uh, 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 Korea. He converted to Islam. And that supposedly will make me convert to Islam too. <laughs> Later he will leave Islam. As soon as he watched my videos, just wait. Actually, most of people who leave, leave to, uh, you know, convert to Islam, they leave Islam after a few years. Most of them. There's actually a conference was in Illinois about why they leave Islam in maximum three years. The majority, because after they go and join Islam by lying to them, then when they are inside, they see that what they told them is not true. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. And this is the propaganda. They say to you, a guy from South Korea, he became... A, South Korea, all of it became a Christian, my friend. South Korea you used to be Buddha country. And you are getting me one, became a Muslim. Don't she don't you see how many Indonesian Christians here? How how those Indonesian became uh, Christians? The number of Christian in Indonesia is increasing so fast. How many Muslims left Islam since I started talking about Islam in Indonesia alone? Stupidity. Stupidity is amazing. No, I did not translate, I did not finish translating the Quran because I'm really busy. I'm really busy. Um, especially these days. Maybe later, and when things uh, go back to normal, I will, uh, I will be happy to uh, to continue my translation. All right. So anyway, I hope, guys, you will, you can make a print. By the way, if you are a Muslim and you like to uh, put a picture of your God uh, in your wall, you know, I mean, it's for free. Make a print of it. And especially if we add for it what the prophet said, Hamia, the sun set in the murky water. So print the whole thing together. Allah in the corner of the picture and the prophet saying the sun set in the murky water. What do you want more? Hmm. I mean, why you are talking about a kid who converted to Islam? What's wrong with you guys? I mean, you know, some people are really weird. If somebody, he is a YouTuber, he have big number of subscribers, and then he converted to Islam. And is that like supposedly Einstein? People are weird. 
You see, uh, uh, a few weeks ago, a guy who is famous singer, he, uh, he became a Christian. I told people, why you are celebrating about him? I mean, what a big deal. So if a person is famous, he became a Christian, it's a big deal. This is, this is a very shallow thinking. And this is not a YouTuber. This is a very famous singer. But this is shallow thinking, my friend. Every human being count for God. It doesn't matter how famous or unknown. Those who they are interested of famous, simply they are the you know, they are joining the crowd of stupidity. Because he's famous. So what if he's famous? Islam is the fastest growing religion, not as I know. I know Islam is the fastest dying religion. Actually, Muhammad he said that Islam is dying, and in the end of the time, Islam will be strange. Nobody will believe in it. Correct. Actually, we just we just showed you a hadith of Muhammad about all the scars of Islam will not be exist no more. Nobody will know Islam no more. Correct. The same hadith about uh, the buildings will uh, will be high, etc. Islam is the most dying religion. If you want to see if Islam fast growing or not, what about you allow the Christians to teach the Bible in Saudi Arabia? If Islam is the fastest growing religion, why if you teach the Bible in Saudi Arabia will be arrested? What are you worried from? It's the opposite. Islam is the most fast dying religion. This is why Islam needs protection. If Islam really increase as you claim, then why you need protection for this religion? Why Muhammad need protection? Why Allah need protection? Why you kill the one who speak against Islam? Because Islam dead. Actually, the Al-Qaradawi, very famous, the biggest sheikh of a Muslim Brotherhood, he said, if not the sword, Islam will be gone from a long time. Right? And actually, I can prove to you that Islam doesn't exist. Go to Emirat. Where is Islam in Emirat? There is mosque, but there is no Islam. Do Emirat practice Sharia Allah? No. Do Morocco practice Sharia Allah? No. Algeria? No. Libya? No. Syria? No. Iraq? No. Where they practice? Where is Islam? Because Islam, my friend, without Sharia Allah, does not exist. Islam is not just a religion. Islam is a government and religion. And if you cannot practice Islam in the country of Muslim, where do you practice it then? Can you tell me? Which country is a, is a practice in Islam and it is a Muslim country? The only ones I know is Taliban, growing drugs and stoning women. That is the true Islam. Do Christian pay jizya in Saudi Arabia? No. But the Quran says you have to pay jizya. So I cannot find any place where Islam is a practice. Because Islam already is dead. Muhammad, he said, the one who listened to music, you see, okay, hold on. As long as you mention this, let me show you. <clears throat> uh, there's tons of hadith, but I'm trying to find you. There is many hadith, you know, showing us how stupid Islam is. I don't know which one I will show you first. Let us see. Here we go. People among my nation will drink wine calling it by another name and a musical instrument will be played for them and singing girls will sing for them Allah will cause the earth to swallow them up and will turn them into monkeys and pigs okay hold on when the last time we saw a Muslim who drink wine Allah made him monkey do you see it This alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. 
Muhammad was predicting the future that his people will drink wine brother but Muhammad was making wine he used to teach them how to make wine they will play musical instrument go and watch the TV of Saudi Arabia they have singers right now in Saudi Arabia so where is Islam he said some of my people but all of them they are doing that number one search engine for sex with animals is Pakistan not only music And if you do that, if you do is listen to music, and if you listen to singing girls, and if you drink wine, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. Hmm? Where is the is that true? Brother? Is that true? Yeah, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. Allah will turn them into pigs and monkeys. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud because all Muslims, they are doing those things already a long time ago. And this is the Hadith. It's Al-Bukhari. So they cannot say it's weak. Right? So anyway. Um... Uh, Islam is the most silly, stupid cult. Just read, educate yourself. Just read. I mean, I cannot find read. I mean, for for me, I can debate about Islam by leaving my toes in a in a in a place to speak to you. I I would I would draw two eyes on my toes, and all those who claim to be scholars, they will be scared even to call my toes. Look at this stupid religion. I mean, how you can defend this religion? This guy, he claiming that you Muslims, if you play music, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. Okay. When the last time? I mean, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing on Saturday. Look at this stupid God. He make you a, a, a pig for fishing on Saturday, but he don't make you a pig for raping women. I mean, who is the stupid here? He make you a pig and a monkey for going to fish and feed your kids, but he don't make a pig and a monkey for raping a child. Stupidity is amazing. So, to believe in those stories, you have to be a fool. You know, let me tell you something very simple. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, so how fool are you? Hmm? Take it as a quotation from me. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, so how fool are you? Uh, you know what? Let me type it for you in the screen. <laughs> I mean, people need a reminder, you know? Yeah, they need a reminder what you can do, brother. What you can do. If a man who promise endless private part and stupid things like this, he can fool you. Who cannot fool you? Anybody can fool you then. I mean, you must be the most, f f the, big, the biggest fool in the world. So I will write for you here. Uh, let us switch to English. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you. I don't know why this typing is so slow. So, how fool are you? I mean, you must be beating every fool in the world. If somebody can convince you that he have God, his name is Allah, he provide you with women, and each one of them, her butt is one mile. How fool are you?
How fool to believe that God will make you a monkey for fishing in Saturday. How fool are you to believe that Allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven and the sun set in murky water and the sun goes every day from the east to the west. How fool. So my friend, if you are a fool, that's your business. Enjoy it. Garbage in, garbage out. Nobody can help you if you are a fool. You have to help yourself. Right? Foolishness is a sickness, illness in this world. But I mean Islam is extremely foolish to the point uh, how anyone can believe in this garbage? How in the world this religion even can be exist? A human being is really weird. Right? Uh, please give reference about when Muhammad tried to tempt his soldiers attack the Roman. Maybe next time. You know, you can type in Arabic if you speak Arabic. Ughzu. Uh, Rum Tagnamu Banat al Asfar. Tagnamu Banat al Asfar. Attack the Roman. I mean, why this uh, thing is. Uh, it's so slow, my, my, my computer is slow, so the text is not coming good. So attack the Roman and get the blondie girls, the yellow, the daughters of the yellow. That's Muhammad. Seducing so us to attack the Roman just to get the blondie girls. And yet they claim that this is a prophet of God who have six with six years old child. And he's asking his men to marry children, trying to make a man leave his wife so he can get a child. I mean, ethic is zero. Superstition religion based on fictions and stupidity. They do not know who is their God. They do not know what he is about. They don't know anything. It's just Islam is a collection of religions. Right? Uh... Anyway, I'm so glad that a lot of people live in Islam and uh, those who they are texting me in Skype, I apologize. There's too many texts to answer. I, I mean, it's scary. I think, actually, I think I'm thinking to delete this account and create a new one because it's very confusing. I mean, I have tens of thousands of, uh, I open my Skype, it's scary. Like, you know, it's like the start messages coming like 15, 20 minutes after and there's no way I can answer all those people. <clears throat> right uh, so maybe I will I will change my Skype and uh, I will update you about it I, will, I have to make decisions about it because it's too much if I open my Skype for you you get scared and you know don't uh, text me and say uh, are you with Korea CP don't text me saying to me good morning don't text me saying how are you are you okay my friend I'm not a kid Skype, I made it only for Muslims to call. As simple as that. Don't add me. Don't send me hello. Don't send me Happy New Year. Thank you very much. I have a lot of people. So I hope people understand, you know. It's not like a person, you have one, two, three people that are talking to him. It's endless. And if I answer one, I have to answer the rest. Right? Najran War. Yeah. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my page. And don't forget after you subscribe to unsubscribe because Allah will give you a double blessing for subscribing to Christian friends and then unsubscribing because you decide to leave the evil brother. So Allah will double your reward. All right? So subscribe and then unsubscribe and then unsubscribe and then unsubscribe and then subscribe and imagine how many how many times you double your reward by the end of the day you will become a billionaire with deeds because Allah will double your deeds what the most stupid religion cult ever so I want to say thank you guys for being here and uh, 
I'm going to go to the space, you know, to speak to Allah and ask him about his leg. I mean, uh, I feel I feel sorry for him. Allah have one leg. Why? And by the way, uh, Allah he uh, he communicate by the voice of a of a bell, uh, not by signal of Morse. In case you do not know, you know. So I'm going to try to contact him, and I will let you know uh, what will happen in the end of the conversation. So I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, I pray that all of us we will be, uh, you know, happily people with knowledge, because knowledge will make you happy. By the way, knowledge make you sad to see people ignorant. But the most happiness you can earn is your, you know, you feel that you exist as a human. You have a brain. You have knowledge. You are a person nobody can fool. You are not someone driven by a fool. And this is how fool are you. You are a human being who is exist by himself. As God created him, he gave him a gift to use. So we should use the gift of God, which is an amazing gift. A human being who don't use the gift of God, he decides to live like an animal. And when people they drive you to believe in something without using your brain, without investigating and researching, don't believe in Christianity, don't believe in Islam, don't believe in Hinduism, don't believe in anything without investigating. Otherwise, you are a fool officially there's liars everywhere there's a scammers there's a fraud so if you are naive it's your fault you better use your brain thank you very much my friends for being here may the lord bless you and enter we see you again soon i hope tomorrow christ is lord Islam made by a fool for the fool. Are you a fool? I hope not. Take care.